to welcome everyone to our second college signing ceremony. We have three every year, and this is our middle one, and it's always a pleasure for me to stand up here and introduce the coaches to introduce our student athletes who have uh, gone above and beyond and will be playing at the next level. So without further ado, I want to start out with our boys golf coach, Mr. Matt Rodman. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, it's truly an honor to be able to have the chance to present uh, these two young men uh, here on my left. Both Caleb and Peyton have been integral parts of the program for the last three years uh, and will be for one more year this upcoming spring. Uh, they have played a major part in one of the best stretches CG Golf has seen at the team level. Uh, their team accomplishments together, they've combined for many regular season titles, MIC titles, three county titles, three sectionals, three regionals, two state runner-ups, and a state championship their freshman year. Uh, so we're going to start this celebration with Peyton Short. I have had the privilege and opportunity of coaching and working with Peyton for the last four years. In those years that I have known him, there hasn't been many individuals that have outworked Peyton on the golf course. Uh, the countless hours that he has spent on the range, getting lessons, just being around the game of golf are hard for anyone to top. Uh, the young man truly lives and breathes the game of golf. Uh, one of the biggest things, though, that stands out to anyone about Peyton uh, is his leadership, both on and off the golf course. Uh, on the course, Peyton has done a, done a phenomenal job the last two years of reaching out to the underclassmen, helping them out whenever they need to, uh, introducing himself right away, driving them around if, uh, if they need to be driven around anywhere, and just making them feel a part of the program from day one. Um, <clears throat> He also leads in how he plays. He has been uh, an absolute privilege to watch these last three years grow from showing some frustrations on the golf course at times, but, but really learning a lesson in last year, putting it all together uh, and showing great attitude, uh, impressive grit, uh, and just a, a never give up mentality. Even more impressive though to me is Peyton's leadership off the golf course as he has made his mission during high school to give back to the game of golf. Uh, he has spent the last three years uh, doing some impressive fundraising, raising over $16,000 for the Indy, Indy Junior Golf Program. Uh, it shows that he truly cares and wants to improve and continue uh, to raise the game of golf. I am very much looking forward to his senior year as Peyton leads another talented team on our way towards the ultimate goal uh, of another state championship. I know that the University of Southern Indiana is getting an outstanding golfer, an even better teammate, and a phenomenal all-around young man who's going to come in ready to compete day one. Peyton Short. so many other times before, practices, events, or discussing swings with Southern Dunes. There are plenty of people that I personally want to thank along the way for helping me. I would like to thank my middle school coach, Coach Doherty, for playing me in all but one match as a sixth grader and giving me the comp confidence to believe I belong a part of the Trojans prestigious golf programs. I would like to thank Coach Hoover for being there my first two years when I was a part of the white team Alpha Dogs for helping me control my emotions during a round, not to, not to be so down on myself and not run hot-headed. I would like to thank Coach Rodman for having the confidence last, last year to play me in the, on the red team, even though there were times where I didn't believe in myself. Your belief allowed me to get in front of the eyes of Coach Saylor at State. Also, thank you for pushing me as well at every practice to give it my all. I would like to thank Ted Bishop for helping me with my putting and always help, willing to help me in the other junior legends. I would like to thank my vast list of instructors and mentors, Scott Downing, TJ Eaton, Tony Plesak, Kurt Shear, Jim Morse, and Kyle Dell for spending countless hours and always there for me when I needed my help. I would like to thank the Heck family were truly being good friends and helping me through everything. It didn't matter if it was help Alex helping me on the range, Margie and Christopher giving me advice on the recruiting process, 
They were always there to help whenever I needed it. I would like to thank my longtime teammate, Caleb Tidd, for always there making me have to work harder and giving me the competitive drive I now have since I was a sixth, seventh grader. We have always been neck and neck through the years, except for one thing, the launch monitor battle. <coughs> the last few people I would like to thank are my family members. My dad for always pushing me and being there to help me with anything golf. My mom always telling me to be positive and my grandparents for supporting me and helping me financially as well. When I was 11 or 12 years old, I had the dream to play at, at a competitive level, a D1 school in the South. I wanted to play golf year round. I took a visit one, to a Division I school in Florida when I was 14 years old and emailed numerous of other D1 coaches at Southern schools. I even passed on a visit to a Big Ten school who was recruiting me because they were a Northern school. That was my drive for the longest time in my dream. I was certain there was that was where I was gonna end up. I never opened my eyes to anything close because I always just wanted to be Southern. And then after the state this year, I was contacted by Coach Saylor at the beginning. I never truly thought of anything of it. I just thought it was another school that was just trying to contact and get another player and another number. But as I was researching more and more about the school, I started to realize what my dream school truly was. The University of Southern Indiana has a big campus feel, but a small enough student body to where you feel you are just not, you are not just a number. The living conditions are the best I've, I've seen. It is very spacious and up to date. My, inti my intended major, which will be accounting, has the fourth highest percentage pass rate in the CMA certification test at a staggering 92%. To put that in perspective, the national average is 58%. USI also provides me the chance to play my freshman year and not have to ride on the bench. If I'm going, I, my thought process about this is if I'm, if I'm going to play and practice like everyone else on the team, work out like everyone on the team, I might as well go to a school where I can be on a traveling squad and play in the invitationals. That is why I was excited to accept a golf scholarship to play for this Coach Saylor and this University of Southern Indiana Screaming Eagles. But before that happens, however, we have unfinished business this spring. My personal goals aside, we need to take back Mick. We need to defend our title, our county. We need to defend our sectional title. We need to extend our state regional championship record. And finally, put the big trophy in the Hall of Excellence. Go Trojans.